Hi, Bob Morris out here in the orchard in uh, North Las Vegas. I wanted to, as I'm walking the orchard out here, I wanted to show you uh, what to look for when you see boars. What uh, we're going to do is walk along this line of plums in the orchard, and then uh, I want to show you, I'll be talking at the same time, but I want to show you uh, the difference. It's actually very obvious, but you may not know what you're looking for until you see it. So walk with me right now. Okay, so here are the plums. We're going to walk down the plum line. And this will be true of not just plums, but this is the same thing you're going to see in almonds or peaches or anything else. Now, do you notice this dieback or how small the leaves are? Uh, when you're diagnosing plants, if you see a branch that has small leaves on it like this all through it and the rest of the tree looks healthy then the damage has got to be at the point where you stop seeing the damaged branch in it and below that point the rest of the tree looks healthy so if we get in here and we look for that damaged area what we're going to see is we're going to be looking at a point at where this damage uh, stops and there it is right there and see this this whole area through here is a real good indication in this particular case that we've got borers in here and this is kind of an unusual spot for borers because it's not in uh, the direct southwesterly side so my guess is there's probably damage over on this side from the sun coming in through this open center damaging that branch and the boar probably went in on this side but we're seeing the sap oozing on this plum from boar problems over here uh, on this side and maybe if we looked on the inside oh come on with me let's just take a look well no it doesn't really show it over there but my guess is that that branch right here is probably all dead uh, on this particular side uh, of it and we're seeing the oozing on this side where there's still living tissue okay so that's boar damage and uh, look for it on peach on apricot plum and a number of other trees look for that single branch dieback or multiple uh, keep branch in mind dieback. too that when you have plums and there's sap coming out of some branches it doesn't always mean that you have boars usually in peaches and apricot that's pretty much a dead giveaway you're going to have a boar problem. But on plums, it's not. And I'm going to flash a picture up here so you can see that a plum, uh, when it's cut, uh, a limb is cut off of it, will produce a lot of sap. There's no boar problems in it, but it is damaged. So usually uh, there is some sort of damage that's occurring uh, on plums if we do see sap. And let me show you one on this particular tree in here. So let's look in here, and if we look closely, we can see sap down here. Uh, we can see sap coming where this limb was cut off all through here. And again, that does not necessarily mean there's boars in there, but it does mean that there's damage. Uh, now we're talking plums primarily. So what I'm saying is on plums, just because you're seeing sap doesn't necessarily mean boars. So check and look for that. Look for uh, the dieback of the limbs. Look for the dwarfing and stunting effect of an entire limb. And if that's the case, then I think we have to start looking at potentially you got a boar problem in it.